Hello friends, welcome to CSAP space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about uh, how to create a currency conversion using uh, jQuery Ajax call. Uh, so first of all, we need to create a uh, API key. So uh, I'm using here uh, this website exchange uh, exchange rate API dot com and I already uh, sign in here so you can create your own free key uh, this account is also a uh, free key means uh, this provide a uh, 1500 hits per month so you can easily test uh, with this data uh, here uh, is uh, our API key that is created uh, after uh, sign in into this account and uh, this here provide uh, all the supported currencies this is a supported currency list and and here uh, is a uh, standard api request this uh, getting all the latest currency with their amount and this is the response and you can also uh, test this with the uh, historical data like uh, year month date this for supported quotes means this uh, response uh, return all the currencies that uh, used by this uh, api key so we use uh, this uh, api code uh, as a value and this text for our drop down list and this is the pair conversion like uh, usd to inr euro to usd means it's a pair conversion here same amount and this the currency code so uh, now we start in uh, for testing i am using this uh, mbc template sp.net mbc template uh, you can uh, use this in your any language because this contain a jquery code so simply i am adding a uh, one it, this all this is the by default uh, code that is generated when you uh, using mbc template so i am here uh, taking one file uh, like a it's a currency currency.js and we need to create a uh, one more view like i am getting a uh, one more view for a currency conversion it's like here I'm writing it currency conversion and then we need to create a view for this add view so we see pipe Now this uh, adding a view for this uh, currency conversion uh, action method. Now this is added. So we remove this. There is no need for this. I already create a HTML for this. So this will uh, save our time to creating HTML. This is the uh, one from one drop down, which is a from, I mean, uh, uh, from a currency code, and this for two currency code. And here I also add a button for swap to from and to and to, to from. And this for a text box where we enter amount and this display the result. That is the uh, read only, was no need to change manually. And here it's a calculate. So now we uh, add this uh, JS to here. It's a currency dot JS, and now we write a code to here. It's a function, and and like I'm uh, taking a uh, API key like app key it's a global variable where we define the uh, api key it's uh, app key is equal to we copy this 
एफ बी आई की एंड देन वी क्रिएटिंग वन फंक्शन फॉर बाइंड दिस ड्रॉप डाउन फॉर करेंसी कोड सो आई एम राइटिंग हियर सो बाइंड करेंसी कोड ड्रॉप डाउन राइटिंग इट्स डॉलर डॉट गेट डॉलर डॉट गेट uh we need to bind all the currency codes so i am using uh, this uh this is the supported codes means it uh, return all the supported codes here so we copy this and this report uh, re return uh, this result i'm writing this and here is your api key so we need to provide this api key it's a uh, app key you will need to change this for double quote for adding a, a variable inside this string here it's a uh, app key then is a uh, input parameter but uh, the thing is here we already provided from here and then it's a function we take uh, one parameter and if uh, is it's a fail when any, any error occurred then we catch into this block like uh, writing mess error while calling the api calling the api and then we log this message it's a d dot response text means this message uh, will be returned if uh, any message any error occurred while calling the message it's a response text now we taking uh, one variable for binding values equal dollar dot each and then it's a data dot supported quotes it's provided here it's a supported quotes data dot uh, supported quotes and then we are writing a function it's like a, it's a loop number and this for a value Mm, it's a row it's equal to we are writing this uh, option like we copy it from here it's a value and here it's a value need to we bind so it's cut it and it's a paste it here here uh, bind the with their values and then it's uh, writing into this format small means that comma on zero positions and this form uh, one position so i'm writing this v index 0 and then uh, we need to provide it here it's like uh, v index 0 and i uh, i need to add one hyphen between them so it's a hyphen plus 
it's a one position now uh, we bind these values it's a dollar means we bind into this ddl from and dot append and this uh, HTML to here and it's a detail to and uh, if you want to set any uh, default values uh, like uh, if I want to set it from dollar to euro like uh, I set it as it's so well. Okay, I'm writing by default when pages of this will show a default value. It's like a euro and well. And uh, I need to also create uh, one more functions for uh, uh, calculating uh, conversion, uh, conversion from a pair of currencies. So I need to write uh, one more functions for this. I am writing it. It's uh, calculate. Calculate currency conversion conversion writing a functions like uh, calculate and then it's a uh, dollar dot get. Here uh, we are writing this uh, currency conversion API. This is at here. We copy it and paste it here. Here we pass uh, our app key. And here uh, it is a DDL prompt. It's a DDL from and here it's a DDL2. We remove these default values because here we need to get uh, their values. And then so values. It's a functions and then it's a data and if any occurred any error is occurred then we copy this method here then we cache this output to this this output text box dot well and it's a dot 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 uh, it's a result is here it's a conversion result so we display this here and uh, we need to also pass uh, i think their amount Mount is where Mount is also pushed from here. If you not put in, then it's automatically take uh, as one. So we need to pass up to two. It's here. Mount 
here it's a mount and we convert this into a number we copy this id to here because this contain the amount for a uh, first time conversion we need to also call this function here now uh, now this is completed so i'm pressing a control pipe for running this application now uh, this is uh, debugging the application so we call our action method it's a home currency conversion uh, it's something error in the code showing error i think in calculator error it's uh, inside this function oh sorry here uh, we forget to write a well their value now again it's control f5 now this uh, showing the default values and here like we change the amount it's uh, 100 then uh, this will need to recalculate the amount it's uh, converted into uh, there it, it's a usd to euro and if you want to change simply uh, click on this it's a uh, 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 you can use a button for uh, swapping this means click it here and then exchange it i uh, like i'm choosing this uh, like uh, usd to inr i want to change it so simply write it here and here we we write a uh, amount this is the usd to inr just so this is the complete process for uh, uh, calling the uh, convert currency conversion api using uh, jquery ajax so if you have any problem any questions please write in comment box i will reply you soon so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session and if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and also click on notification bell